Hi, my name is Julian Jefferson, and I'm going to be doing the QR code anything tutorial with PSTV, an introduction to what QR codes are and how they can be used in your artistic endeavors. So let's get into it. A uh, QR code or quick response code is a type of barcode. It's this image in the bottom right hand corner. And what happens is when you scan it with your smartphone camera, it will directly link you to a website or a mobile app that the creator of the QR code intended you to go to. And it's that simple. All you have to do is scan it with your smartphone camera and immediately it takes you there. So I'm gonna do a little demonstration where I take my smartphone camera, I'm using an iPhone right now, but any smartphone camera will be able to scan QR codes. You see the little yellow lines around the box and then the link shows right up. You click on it and you get directly to the website it was intended for. QR codes haven't always been used to get people to online resources from their mobile phone. Originally, it started off as a tool to help track vehicles in the manufacturing industry. In 1994, a man named Masahiro Hata from a Japanese company, Denzo Wave, created it so that different shipments could be tracked a little bit easier with QR codes. But now it's been broadened so that a lot of these QR codes is now aimed at mobile phone users who you know, sometimes even deal with making payments. Now, like I said, it was originally used in the industrial side of business, but now a lot of payment processing applications are using QR codes. So if you think of things like Venmo or Cash App or PayPal, you have a QR code for your account and people can scan it and it'll bring up your account and they can directly pay or request money from you that way and it's being used as an easy payment method but a payment method isn't the only thing QR codes can be used for and so in the rest of this video I'll be exploring how to use QR codes for flyers, clothing brands, music, stickers and labels as well as business cards. We're gonna start with flyers. Now, with a lot of social media marketing that's been going on for different events and products, the effectiveness of some flyers has definitely seen a decrease over the past few years. But now you can get those numbers back up if you add a well-placed QR code onto your flyer. What that can do for you is People will see the flyer, they can be interested in the event or product, and they can want to know more about it. They can scan that QR code and instantly be taken to more resources about your product, whether it's a website, a mobile app, or even just a calendar invite to the event itself so that they remember and know when the event is. That's a great way to pair more information so that the consumer knows what they're getting into before they commit to the event. And that's why the QR code on the flyer is great because it immediately gives them more information about something that's already caught in their eye. Now, with clothing brands, you could take your clothing brands to a whole new level with QR codes. One thing you can do is you can link your entire catalog to one article of clothing. What this means is someone buys a shirt from you. They see the tag, there's a QR co code on it. They scan it and it opens up your website to where your entire catalog of clothes are. And it's just a great way to take one article of clothing and pair it with everything else in your catalog. There's also the image gallery QR code, which when scanned, it will take them to a place where it has your entire catalog modeled on different models so that your consumers can see how the clothes are going to fit on different body sizes. So it's a great way to figure out what sizes are going to work best for them so that there's no hassle on returns and incorrect sizes. Another thing you can do is link that QR code to your clothing brand's social media page. That way your consumers can be 
kept up to date about new items coming out as well as see everything that's been going on and the different products and different models that you've hired to promote that business. It's a great way to take your one article of clothing, no matter who buys it, and just link them to all of the catalog items that you have and get them interested in your brand. Now we're gonna move on to music. Feel free to stop and pause if you wanna look things up or go back, but work at your own pace. That's important. So let's continue. Music is a very easy way to utilize QR codes because once it's scanned, it'll immediately just take you to the song, the album, or the, the work that you've been working on. All you have to do is scan it. You can even put them on stickers, place them around different you know, music venues. That way people are already in the music mindset and they see it, scan it, they're immediately there to your new music and it's a great way to promote new projects. And there's also a built-in audio player where once it's scanned, you can get a quick snippet of your music so that they know if they're interested or not. And it gives them a great view into your project or song as a whole just by scanning that QR code, getting a quick snippet. And it's a great way to just get people interested in the music and the art that you're creating. Now, using stickers for music is one thing, but you can also put QR codes on stickers for any other thing. It's a great way to make your brand personal and you can you know, take these stickers, brand them to your specific brand or company and then put them on personal promotional items and then send them out to the world. That way people see it. Let's say you're in a meeting one day and you have a QR code sticker on your water bottle. You know, it piques interest. You can tell them to scan it, and because it's on your water bottle, something personal, something you have on you often, it it creates a different message in the person's brain that says, oh, this is something important to them. This is their brand. This is the way they're living their life. And it's much more impactful, the, the art or the project that it links to when they see it on a sticker on personal item. It's also a great way to be flexible in how you want to market your brand. You can, you know, print out different stickers of different QR codes so that if you place them in different places, they won't necessarily go to the same place. They could. However, you can more decisively put the QR codes to where whoever scans it is going to need the information that they want. And with business cards, it is a great way to just expand your network and expand your contact list. There is an option called the VCard Plus QR that when you when you scan that QR code on the business card, it just brings up the contact information and they can instantly just add your name, your phone number, your email directly into their phone so that it's just easy and simple. They don't have to go through typing things out, trying to figure out how to spell your name. Everything's just right there. And another great thing about putting QR codes on business cards is that you could even link your business card to samples of your work or your catalog of projects so that whoever you give your business card to is kept up to date about what you're doing, how you could be of service to them, the different things you're working on, how you work, and it definitely gives them a, a much better idea of if they want to work with you. So it's a great way to just, you know, get yourself out there. Here's my information, this is what I do, right on one business card, and it just looks amazing if you place it correctly. Now with all of these different ways to use QR codes and how to place them, how to market them to different people, here are some best practices that you should keep in mind no matter what kind of QR code you're using. You always wanna add instructions. You always wanna make sure when people see the QR code, they know what they should do with it, whether it just says, scan me with your camera or, you know, 
take a picture of me or whatever. You always want to make sure that if people see it, they don't just see it and then move on. You want to give them that that little hint to say, oh, scan me. You might find something you want. And that way you get more people scanning your QR code and figuring out what you're about and if they, they want to work with you. Another best practice is you have options to customize your QR codes, whether it's putting your logo, putting a frame around the QR code, or even just changing the colors of the dots to match your business aesthetic. It's a great way to just customize a QR code so that it looks a lot more flush with your business, your company, your product, and that everything is cohesive to your brand. Next thing, and probably one of the more important things about QR codes is you always, always, always want to test your QR code before you print it out. The reason being, let's say you make a QR code that links to your YouTube page, right? So you put it up there and you get one of the characters wrong. What happens now is people are scanning your code and not getting to your YouTube page. So now you've wasted resources and time printing out, placing all of these QR codes and it's not being effective. So you always, always, always wanna test your QR code yourself before you print it out, before you send it out and you wear it just to make sure it's gonna give you the desired result that you're looking for. So now we're gonna do a little bit of an example. We're gonna go to qrcode-monkey.com and create one together. So what you wanna do is go to YouTube, find a video you like, um, and whatever video you choose, that's where our QR code's gonna link. All right? So let's go to qrcodemonkey.com and this is what the page looks like. So we're gonna go to enter content so this is what the QR code is now and this is what the link that the QR code is going to link to so let's go to YouTube and right here I'm just gonna pick on a random video let's go with a very happy wall What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the URL from up here. I'm going to copy it and then we're going to go to QR code monkey and paste it in. So that now when it's scanned, it'll take us directly to that a very happy wolf video. I'm going to come down here to set colors where we can change the color. Um, you can even make it a, a color gradient. As you see here, it goes from the blue at the top to the black at the bottom. So I'm just going to go with the single color for now. Um, let's go with, let's go with the green, I like that color. And then the background color, you would like to keep white. The reason being is when the QR code is scanned around these three boxes in the corner, there's a kind of free space zone around the entire box that's used to help the camera identify where the QR code is and how to read it. So you want to make sure that you leave it white. You can change it sometimes, but I, I always stick to leaving it white. So now you can add a logo. We can use YouTube since that's where we're getting our video from. And then you can even remove the background behind it. And then you can get a custom design, whether you want, you know, circles instead of just the black dots, you can have them be connected. You can change the shape of the outside frame. You can also change this eyeball right here to different colors or different shapes. Once we're all done, you hit create QR code. 
and there it is. That's the QR code we just made for this video. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna scan it again to see if it works. And then we come up, we scan it. And it opens up YouTube to the A Very Happy Wolf video. And so that's just a great way to make QR codes. There you've done it. And so you can download it, you can print it on stickers, labels, wherever. But that's how you create a QR code and that's how they're affected. So, you know, feel free to go back through the video if you wanted it for any more information about the different ways you could use QR codes in your artistic endeavors, but it's very simple. You can do this as many times as you need. QR code monkey is a free website you can use to get those QR codes. So you can, you can use it there as well. But that is all for this tutorial. I want to thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.